Hello, uh, I'm Dean Sian Irishman and today I'm going to be reviewing and talking about uh, Red Faction uh, Red Faction Gorilla and I'm going to be talking a little bit about Red Faction uh, Armageddon its follow up but anyway, what do I think about Red Faction uh, Gorilla? I think it's a very good game it's an open world game uh, you can go anywhere you want, you can destroy anything you want, you can tackle the missions anywhere you want to tackle them. And I think it's a good little game because of that. Uh, I played the demo of the new game coming out, Red Faction Armageddon, and I have to say I'm not too impressed with it. First of all it's set on the ground, now when you set a game on the ground, you're not going to be able to go where you want to go. You're going where the tunnel system lets you go, and that's it. So you're going to have a very linear game compared to this. I think Red Faction Armageddon is going to be half the game. Red Faction Gorilla. And that's, that's I, I really do think that. And another thing about Red Faction Armageddon is that there's aliens in it. Now this is the first game to have aliens in it. In the history of Red Faction games, there's never been aliens to fight against. I think there's been the odd mutant, but that's about it. Now, all the other stories, it was you know, it was a, it was man against the big bad companies, against against big bad uh, armies. It was one man against an unjust system fighting an unjust system, and I like I like that kind of thing. I kept it simple. In the new well, Red Faction Armageddon. You're fighting the aliens, and the aliens, why did they introduce the aliens? Because I think they're looking off like, like the aliens out of uh, Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 1. So I think the guys, well listen, the guys who made this game weren't happy with the sales of Red Faction Gorilla. They said, what's hot at the moment? Uh, so space, survival horror space is hot, hot at the moment. Okay, let's 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 turn Red Faction uh, Gorilla, Red Faction Armageddon into a survival horror game with destructibility. So basically, what I think Red Faction Armageddon is going to be is going to be a total ripoff of uh, Dead Space 2. You're going to have a very linear game, and uh, I played the demo. I wasn't that impressed. Killed the in Armageddon you can rebuild anything you can destroy but that's that's not saying much because uh, they only put that in there because they had to put it in there. The game is so linear that if you blow up an exit that's it you're stuck so they had so they had to give you a tool to rebuild that exit or else you wouldn't be able to continue on with the game because the game is that linear so I'm not impressed with that tool at all. I don't, th I don't think a lot of the fans of this game are going to be either. Well, oh, that's my bitching done about uh, Armageddon. Let's let's continue with the review of uh, it's a uh, better better butter, I think. Uh, better original butter. This is a uh, Red Faction Gorilla. And it's an open game. So be able to pick this up in a bargain bin for second hand for less than uh, hey, less than ten euros. Right there. And uh, right now you can it's a good little game. You'll get your your values right. Get your values right. Now the games are, the the buildings in the game are proper buildings. So if you want to knock a building down, you should go for the support beams. Knock out the support beams and the building will practically tear itself apart because uh, it needs support. It's just like a real building. To do what? What are you people doing out here? Whatever it takes. I'm not a terrorist. You think I am? The idiot are working out there. You see the explosions are nice, big and powerful, and they only get bigger and powerful and more of them. You can get rocket launchers, you can get uh, rocket launchers to fire multiple rockets. Later on you get the nano gun. Uh, the nano gun is really cool, you can disassemble things. This building's pulling itself apart, you can hear the noise, the sound is, the ground is shaking and this building's ready to go. Oh, 
There we go. Just pulled itself apart. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Great destructibility in this game. It never gets old destroying something in this game. It really doesn't. And it's, you know, like I said, you can pick it up for less than nothing. And if you ever thought, oh, I wouldn't really like this game, you know, I think you would. You can't go wrong. Like I said, instead of buying the new one that's coming out, just buy this old one instead. You'd probably buy in the better game, if to be honest. I'm not going to bitch anymore about Armageddon. I think I think I've bitched enough about it. <coughs> anyway, what marks would I give this game out of out of ten? I give it a good solid eight. I really would. It's an enjoyable game. Uh, the reason I'm picking up stuff is that's your currency. You get to buy weapons, upgrade weapons with uh, with salvage. And if you want to have explosives, you can always go to the sledgehammer. There's a good selection of weapons, but like I said, the main... There you go. Boom. <laughs> you gotta love it. Let's see if we can knock one more thing down before I end this review. As you see, the map is uh, map is big. I'll show you the map actually. I can remember what button it is. You start off here. This is just a training mission. This is just to get you used to the destructibility things. But you can go all over. You can go into Town Parker. There's Town Dust. You can see the, the it's a big map. Big map. Uh, lots of things to blow up. I bet you won't get that on the ground in the new game. I can't see it happening to be honest. Uh, so you're getting a big game for, for, you know, bargain bin price. Like I said, you know, if you haven't picked it up now, now is the best time to do it. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. I can only put down two uh, two mines, uh, two C4 charges at the moment. But later on, I think you can put down a maximum of 12. So you can have 12 explosions going off uh, all at the same time. It just rips it. Just rips the shit out of everything. And it never gets old blowing stuff up for absolutely no reason. You, know, you don't need missions to go around blowing stuff up. You can just do it if you get bored. If you get bored doing the missions, you just see, you see something you don't like. I'm gonna blow that up. Another thing about this game, you can never get stuck in the graphics. Because if you get stuck in the graphics, just rip out uh, your old uh, sledgehammer. And away you go. No more stuck in the graphics. Let's have a big boom to end this. Big boom. Anyway. 8 out of 10 guys, hunt it down, great game, adios and I will catch you next time.